Hatco's Intelligent Toast Quick Toaster should be cleaned daily to avoid malfunctions, maintain a sanitary operation, and to preserve the finish. Daily cleaning involves four areas, conveyor chain, crumb trays and toast chute, exterior surfaces, product sensors and sensor reflectors. Monthly or as needed cleaning involves two areas, the bottom element reflector and fan filters. Remember, during all cleaning procedures, never immerse the unit in water. Perform the daily shutdown procedure as shown in the operations section of the ITQ Installation and Operating Manual. This can be downloaded from the HATCO website at www.hatcocorp.com. Next, unplug the power cord. The toaster must be cooled down before you start. Remember to never put soap directly on the conveyor chain. To clean, manually move the chain a section at a time. Apply mild soap to a soft cloth and wipe the chain. For heavy buildup, use a scrub pad on the conveyor. Finally, use a soft cloth dampened with water to rinse the conveyor chain. Remember, the toaster must be cooled down before you start. Remove and empty the crumb trays and toast chute. Wash all with warm water and mild detergent. Rinse with water. Allow the crumb trays and toast chute to air dry. Reinstall the crumb trays and toast chute. Refer to the ITQ Installation and Operating Manual for instructions. Wipe the exterior surfaces of the toaster with a non-abrasive damp cloth. Stubborn stains may be removed with a good stainless steel cleaner or a non-abrasive cleaner. Hard-to-reach areas should be cleaned with a small brush and mild soap. Never clean sensor covers or sensor reflectors with abrasive pads or cleaners. Clean and polish the product sensors and sensor reflectors using a mild degreaser and soft non-abrasive cloth. Sensor reflectors are present on dual conveyor units only. The bottom element reflector inside the toasting chamber has slots that allow breadcrumbs to drop through to the crumb tray. Over an extended period of use, breadcrumbs may build up on the reflector and not drop through onto the tray. Here's how to clean it. Perform the daily shutdown procedure shown in the operation section of your ITQ installation and operating manual and unplug the power cord. Make sure the toaster is turned off and completely cooled before you start. Wipe the crumbs onto the crumb tray using a bristle brush. Place the bristle brush through the conveyor belt and wipe to each side. Be sure to remove any bristles left behind in the toasting chamber. Finally, perform the daily cleaning procedure shown previously in this video. Two cooling fan filters are located on the bottom left side of the unit. These filters should be checked or cleaned monthly or any time the warning light comes on. Use the following procedures to clean the filters. Make sure toaster is turned off and cooled down before you proceed. Perform the daily shutdown procedure shown in the operation section of your ITQ installation and operating manual and unplug the power cord. Slide filters out of the filter housing on the bottom of the unit. Rinse the filters using hot water. Allow them to air dry completely. Slide the filters back into the filter housings. Make sure each filter slides above the filter support on each side of the housings. This concludes the training video. 
If you have any questions, please consult your intelligent ToastQuick installation and operating manual. For service, go to www.hatcocorp.com or call 1-800-558-0607.